My name is Victor Ramirez. I'm from Miami, Florida. I plan to attend the Princeton University in the fall and study mathematics. I had a teacher. Her name was Ms. Avila. She sat me down one day and she told me, look, Victor, you're smart. She saw something in me, you know? And she introduced me to math club. She introduced me to after school care. And she, asked to, she introduced me to like, to love education for what it is. And she helped me fall in love with math. And she really just put me on the path that I am and the person I am today because of her. I'm the first generation to be born here in the United States. Every other, my family goes, dates back to Cuba. They grew up in poverty. They grew up with no opportunities. When I look at everything that they sacrificed for, for me to live in this country, and I make the most of it. My mom and my dad split when I was two. So my mom was really a single mom throughout my years. Every shift my mom took at that hospital, 24 hour shifts, 48 hour shifts, you know, her working to provide for me so I wouldn't live the life that she lived really made a difference to me. I did um, a tutoring program at a local K-8 center. It was students who were coming from dangerous households. They were coming from low-income households and they were flagged by their teachers. They weren't gonna pass the grade. And really, it started out just as like a regular tutoring program, but it turned into something else. The whole program itself became a way for kids to escape from their home situations. I had a kid, for example, he was a he was part of a triplet. Um, he had a single mom, his dad had split on him, and he was getting into trouble in school. And he didn't really have a stable household. His mom would work hours late and he would have to stay with a neighbor or something like that. So really the tutoring program became as an escape for him. And I saw a little of myself in him, you know? He was a smart kid, he was going through a rough situation. He didn't have all the attention that he needed and being able to show him that attention and eventually have him pass his FSA and continue on to the fourth grade. And it was just an amazing experience for me. In 10 years, I really can see myself either as a Navy doctor, serving overseas on a boat, wherever they station me, but, you know, practicing medicine, because everybody has a way to serve that's unique. Not everybody's a front lineman, not everybody's a sailor. I really, really found myself with this need to serve in the, in the United States military. So being able to care and heal and protect those sailors when they're fighting for our country and they come to me in order to heal their wounds is probably the one of the greatest types of service or even the biggest type of service that I can think of that I can do within my power.